Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. So here I'm going to share a watch I have that I've had over a year. And this is the watch that started me into watch collecting or buying watches. The Invicta Bolt Zeus. This is the first watch I purchased. And let me tell you the story behind it. I, back in July of 2022, I was on a cruise ship and I got, uh, and I made videos of that if you're interested in that. And I, and I believe in one of the videos I showed that I bought this watch there. And if you've ever been on a cruise ship, they have jewelry stores there and um, they were running an Invicta watch sale. 75% off, supposedly. I think I paid one ninety or two ninety. I don't I can't remember. Which by the way is too much, I found out once I got back on shore and I looked them up on Amazon. So at that time I liked large watches. Or I thought I liked large watches, so I bought one. I actually bought two of these. I mean, not not uh, bolts. Uh, I bought two Invictus, and I bought one for my girlfriend. Or no, two for my girlfriend. So I bought four watches all together. I, I overpaid for all of them. Don't buy watches on a cruise ship. It's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's not a good deal. Um, there's better places to buy them. I know that now. Like like I said, this is before I knew anything about watches. You, you can get these on Amazon, the Bolt anyway. I seen them as low about $80. About $130 is the average um, price for these. This is a, a series in Invictus that certain guys or men, mostly men, I think, like these watches. And these are big, heavy, in-your-face watches. Now, if you notice all the cabling all the way around, that that is the... Uh, signature mark of the bolt line and all the bolts have this cabling done to it and I liked it this is the only watch I have of this particular size and type like I said it was my first watch and I don't know if I personally would buy something of this size anymore just because I've kind of, my taste has changed and I've gotten a, a little bit smaller, lighter, but I still like this watch. I wore it to work the other day. I wore it out. Uh, I have gotten comments on it. Uh, positive so far. Well, one of the girls at work, she goes, oh my God, that thing is huge. <laughs> she didn't really care for it. So... I think this is a guy thing. It's not so much a... And, and then another girl at work, she said, Oh, I like that watch that her dad has had one. And he was on a motorcycle accident and nothing happened to it. He said, absolutely nothing happened to that watch. They're bulletproof. Which is, if if you feel it, uh, I don't know how much it weighs. I'm saying a pound. I mean, literally a pound on your on your wrist. Um, so only certain people are going to really like this watch. This is, uh, let me see if I can do some functions here and everything works. I haven't changed the battery or nothing. Let me, uh, how do you start the, see, I never used a timer on it. 
okay, there it went something. Well, it's it started, and then I stop it. Start. Okay, there it goes back to zero. Okay, and then, okay, and there it starts. There's the second. I guess this is the minute, and that's the hour. It has a date right there, very small date. Actually, it's wrong, but I haven't said it. It's the 12th. I think today is the 15th of December. It's it's the 15th December of 2023. But anyway, it it's like dished out. As you can see, it has a lot of depth to it. And there's other ones that, I mean, Invictus has a lot of watches like this. And this is what they're known for. And in the watch world, a, a lot of people don't like them. Because they make watches like this. And it's gaudy, heavy, you know, in their views. In their views, that's that's what they see. And uh, But as far as the mechanics and everything, uh, it's a good watch. Like I said, this one's over a year old that I, uh, so like I said, is a year and a half now, roughly. Okay, see how it it went back. So anyway, I mean, I don't really use it as a stopwatch. It's it's there for the face just to look at it, but it does work. Um, and it is a good watch. I cannot say Invictus of uh, has been in business since I, in eighteen like forties or something. I think a lot of people don't give them credit. They started in Switzerland and now they're American owned. They've been in the watch game a long time, and they're a huge brand. You can get them at TG Maxx. I've seen them. I think JC Penney's. Um, other department stores carry them, and there's actually Invictor stores like here in San Antonio. There's a mall that carries Invictas, but they won't give you the price that you can get them online. I buy them strictly online. I might go into an Invictor store and see them and and then try them on, something I like, and then I go look for it on Amazon or JCPenney and buy them online. And you get them for like almost half the price of the stores. TG Maxx is pretty reasonable, but they have very limited um, types of watches on there. So anyway, if you're interested in this, um, go to Amazon and type in Invicta Bolts or just Invicta Watches as, so you can see all the different brands and types that, that they carry and see if this is something that you'd be interested in. You could probably get this one for like $90 is, uh, or, some, or something similar to it. But they have all kinds of colors, patterns. They got themes, you know. You can get Disney Invictas. You can get Star Wars Invictas. They're, they make a ton of theme type watches. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.